I'm inside the garage where we're going to park the Tesla. I'm by the garage door and I'm on the side of the garage where we're going to install the outlet. So it'll be very convenient to plug the Tesla in. On the panel uh, for the supply, or the sub panel that supplies the entire garage is here. Uh, I was going to mount a uh, it's uh, capable of um, a 50 amp service out here. So this this panel basically is fed by uh, number six wire uh, for for a maximum of 50 amps. But that's for the entire garage. We have a lot of light fixtures out here. We have a freezer, a refrigerator, and believe it or not, we actually air condition the garage. I like to work in the garage and in the summer it gets hot so I actually run a little air conditioner out here. So I felt that running a 50 amp uh, plug here would probably not be wise. So I've chosen to go to the 40 amp plug which is your standard uh, plug for a typical dryer in the US. This is a NEMA 1430. Outside a moment ago I showed you a NEMA 1450. I ordered from Tesla.com the NEMA 1430 plug for the UMC, the Universal Mobile Charger that comes with the Tesla. By changing the plug it automatically configures the UMC for the desired uh, current draw. In the case of a NEMA 1430 it sets the charge limit to 24 amps so there's plenty of safety. In our particular case 24 amps will be enough. Uh, it'll probably take 8 hours to 10 hours to charge uh, the Tesla but that's okay. It typically is going to sit from 9 o'clock at night till 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. So we don't feel that's a problem charging using a 30 amp. In the event that this chooses problem is turns into problematic I will possibly upgrade the wiring from the, the main breaker in the house, run new wire to heavier gauge wire to this sub panel and then put a 50 amp breaker in this sub panel. I have I was going to mount the UMC uh, right here and I have uh, a little uh, uh, 3D printed holder for it that I got for twenty dollars from um, it's called uh, Thing, thingy things, uh, I think it is. This is it. My lovely wife, she brought it to me. So this little U-shaped or C-shaped device is going to mount on the wall and it allows the UMC just to, to fit up against the wall. I was going to, as I said, mount uh, this large dryer type plug, just put it uh, below or beside the panel and then wire it, wire it to the panel. I was going to do that. But after seeing the panel outdoors, I've decided to do a little different. I'm going to drill, cut a hole in this top of this box, and I'm going to put a uh, recessed plug instead of a surface mounted plug. So I'm going to stop talking now and get busy working, and uh, uh, we're going to do time lapse, so hopefully it, it won't be too boring.
Hi, it's the uh, next day and I'm going to continue working on the um, install of the uh, 30 amp uh, outlet for the Tesla charger. But I got good news. Our Model X came today as in our Hot Wheels Model X. How cool is that? No. <laughs> I can't get, I can't wait till we get the one where we can actually drive it. <laughs> anyway, so i um, going to um, mount this receptacle and the power meter to the faceplate, the cover, and uh, then secure all that down and uh, then uh, we'll switch uh, camera views and we'll go back over to the install on the actual uh, breaker box.